Kipper by Mike Inkpen. Kipper's basket is old and worn, but can Kipper find a better place to sleep? Kipper was in the mood for tidying his basket. You are falling apart, he said to his rabbit. You are chewed and you are soggy, he said to his ball and his bone. And you are disgusting, he said to his smelly old blanket. Out they went. That's better, said Kipper. But it was not better. Now his basket was uncomfortable. He twisted and he turned. He wiggled and he wriggled, but it was no good. He could not get comfortable. Silly basket, said Kipper, and went outside. Outside there were two ducks. They looked very comfortable standing on one leg. That's what I should do, said Kipper. But he wasn't very good. He could only wobble. Some wrens had made a nest inside a flower pot. It looked very cosy. I should sleep in one of those, said Kipper. But Kipper would not fit inside a flower pot. He was much too big. The squirrels had made their nest out of sticks. I will build myself a stick nest, said Kipper. But Kipper's nest was not very good. He could only find three sticks. The sheep looked very happy just sitting in the grass. No, that was no good either. The grass was much too tickly. The frog had found a sunny place in the middle of the pond. He was sitting on a lily pad. I wonder if I could do that, said Kipper. But he couldn't. Perhaps a nice dark hole would be good, thought Kipper. The rabbits seemed to like them. But it was not a rabbit hole. Kipper rushed indoors and hid underneath his blanket, his lovely, old, smelly blanket. Kipper put the blanket back in his basket. He found his rabbit. Sorry, rabbit, he said. He found his bone and his ball. I like my basket just the way it is, yawned Kipper. He climbed in and pulled the blanket over his head. It's the best basket in the whole wide 